Hey, hey, welcome back, everybody. Of course, this is Dr. Keith McNally, and this is the Question Guy podcast. And as you know, or if you're paying attention to my previous podcast, me and Jane Bell are organizing and hosting an intercontinental leadership summit. And we're calling it Progressive Leaders in Education, and it's going to be in August 2023. And I'm here with Dr. Potan, and she's going to be joining us in that summit. The purpose of today is to find out what she's going to talk about. I know that she has been, her passion lately has been equity in STEM education. So I'm hoping, 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 doctor, that that's going to be your focus. Talk to us. Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you, Keith. And thank you for the opportunity to, you know, share what I've learned, what I've experienced as well. A lot of my uh, passion comes from a place of experience of having, not having, not seeing, you know, not seeing representation that looks like me or even looks like some of my friends um, who are people of color in particular STEM fields that we are interested in. So, I mean, when you talk about my passion, it's almost like my life type of thing. So, and I, uh, I really, I really appreciate the opportunity to actually share that at your, at your summit. So thank you very much. Well, well, thank you. So you, uh, you're going to be at, you, you said you're going to be in New York at the UN, right? In, yes. in March of 2023. Yes. What's going on there? Why are you going to be there? Yeah, so I'm going there um, with one of my well friends and colleague and a person that I volunteer for at one of the organizations I volunteer for, which is called the Society for Canadian Women in Science and Tech. So we are going there as delegates to attend the 67th Annual Consortium on the Status of Women uh, meeting or okay. more like an event, I guess, with everybody else around the globe. And we are there because we are contributing to conversations about how to have, how to make things a little bit more equitable for women and girls ac across the globe. Not only in STEM, but in access to healthcare, access to education, um, access to just um, opportunities type of thing because for so long women and girls have been held back because of barriers and institutional and systemic stereotyping um, and and barriers right so that's why we are there and yeah so I'm going to be there in March and the very thing that I'm passionate about and also will be contributing to which is which is similar to what I'm going to talk about at your summit as well. So let's talk just give us some teasers and so yeah. And some, and I think the best way to give us some teasers is give us some of your backstory. You are what, what you, you're a woman and yeah. you are a woman of color. Yes. I'm, and I'm, not I, only that, but where did you come I'm, from? Oh, I'm originally from Malaysia, Southeast yeah. Asia. So um, it's right by the equator. If you don't know where it is. So listeners who don't know where that is, that's right by the equator. And um, I grew up there uh, for most of my childhood and then before my family immigrated to Vancouver, Canada. And so when I came here, it was really about, you know, understanding, first about understanding culture, understanding about learning about such a different culture between Western culture and where I grew up, right? Mm -hmm. That's number one. Um, as I progressed in school and as I got into more and more the science field, um, I did my bachelor's in science. I pursued science. I did my first PhD in science, and now my second PhD is in science ed. Um, wow. Still sciencey, right? <laughs> uh, I saw less and less, you know, scholars. Um, you know, uh, people who are like really popular, famous scientists, who are women. Number one, right. and then second was hard to find women of color. Yes, third that's hard to find is that women of color who are who have reached that specific rank of authority you know who actually can have their say at at the table rather than just being a checkbox off of the the of the diversity sort of thing that most yeah, organizations yeah, have yeah. right um so when i didn't see that i was like hmm i don't know something doesn't feel right um and so that's sort of how it kind of sparked my passion into this is area I mean, I've been an advocate in this area for over 20 years now. It's just that it's come up a lot more bubbling up in the past couple of years. Um, so I'll be talking about how changing the way that we do, that we teach science in the classroom. And I'm not saying not teach about data and not teach about scientific skills. That's not what I'm saying. 
I'm saying about including other narratives and other perspectives into the classroom so that we're not just learning from one side. We're learning from all different sides. And then also I'm going to be talking about a little teaser is that why representation matters. Like people, some people ask me, it's like, well, who cares about representation in STEM? Isn't STEM just STEM, just science? Why do we eat representation? Um, science you know, is not that was colors. really going to be my question. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. Go ahead okay, and answer well, it. Why? Why well, is it important? Well, it's important because if we want a society to be innovative, creative towards sort of solutions to address a lot of challenges that are happening around the globe right now, then we can't be excluding more than half of the globe's population from these opportunities, right? Because if we exclude that, then our creativity is only coming from one side. Mm -hmm. not from multiple perspectives so i think that is why it's so important to start the you know like a different sort of way of approaching on teaching science so that young girls when i such as me when i grew up can actually see ourselves um in being in those careers not just being in those careers but actually make a difference yeah yeah and so, and i'm glad that you said that i'm so glad that you said that because it's really the impact, the, uh, and I, I, there's a, there's a phrase I know it's not new, but I've been using it more because I've been embracing it more and seeing it used in certain circles. Um, and I'm just going to say a, a thought leader. Um, and so it's, it's ha having that established authority in yeah. a space. And I usually term space as where you are personally, professionally, as an in, where you are in industry, whatever that looks like, yeah. but you are, you doctor are a person of authority. So I would call you a thought leader in equity and STEM because oh, that thanks. is your space. That is your place. I've heard you talk about it. I've, well, I haven't personally seen you talk about it, but I know your content uh, throughout your social media presence is yeah. a lot about that. If not a lot about that, very recently too so mm -hmm. one i applaud you for being in the i guess you were invited to the un or uh yeah we, it, well we were all asked to like yeah be participated to it but yeah we were selected like not everyone can go so and so i do applaud you that is awesome so that again that that literally credentials you as a thought leader or somebody with authority in that space and so i'm honored to have you join my group of educators in August of 2023, as we take a look at a myriad of issues across education, across the continent, and across the globe. Dr. Well, Potan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you for Keith. joining and me. I, and I go just ahead. wanted to say one last thing for, yeah, go ahead. for you to like, you know, for you to like provide such a great platform for, and, and I've seen the other people that you've invited and they're, they're diverse. And I'm so happy about that, that it's not just a reiteration of, you know, one panel color that i've seen like other places before so oh I, no we've I applaud, got i applaud you <laughs> we, on that so that's great <laughs> and, and to, yeah we we do we actually have uh most of the speakers are women uh some are white some are of color and different nationalities so yeah. as you were saying that was intentional and so i brought this yeah. team together to provide not only their professional expertise to come forward, but also the representation yeah. across the globe, which is what we want to see. And so yeah. thank you. That's so important. Thank you so much for doing that. This has been another edition of the Question Guy podcast. I thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Take care.